fire outbreaks are with no doubt among major disasters experienced in households, learning institutions, industries among other places in the country. In recent days, for instance, Kenya has experienced a number of fire incidences, especially in schools and open-air markets. But even as firefighters do their best to minimize effects of the same, they are advocating for fire safety knowledge in a bid to avert such disasters. This one will help in curbing the fires and the tragedies and deaths that are occurring in our schools when there is a fire. So when you are trained, you'll have, you'll be safe on evacuation and fighting fires. A number of county governments through the Chief Fire Officers Association in Kenya are collaborating with Polish Center for International Aid, a Poland-based non-governmental organization, to equip young men and women across the country with fire safety skills. Right now we are implementing the first phase, which is the basic um, firefighting training uh, that is certified under TVETA. It has a few components, which include uh, um, online components, that is caused be, um, due to COVID uh, restrictions and the practical part that we are implementing in the fire and rescue training center, so-called fire track center. According to the Fire Officers Association, fire department in the country is currently incapacitated in terms of personnel and equipment. Currently, the situation in Kenya, uh, we, have, we still have a long way to go because uh, we need more firefighters, we are inadequate. The fire engines the, or the equipment are not enough and we still need more trainings for our firefighters. We also need the welfare of firefighters should also be uh, looked at. David Ngugi is a fire officer in Kembu County. We join his fire prevention and safety lesson on this particular day at the PCPM training facility. There is more risk of even the fire becoming bigger. Here, he explains to the team how homesteads, institutions and industries can easily experience fire outbreaks and how to prevent the same from turning into a disaster using basic safety measures. We start with the worn out electrical appliances that will lead to a fire starting. Then we have the gas leakages. We have the proper carrying of a cylinder, then you'll have, if you throw this cylinder outside, there will be a, a bigger fire. Then we have the kerosene stoves, they are the most used uh, stoves in the slums, in many homes in Kenya. So some people you'll find they're refilling the paraffin when they are light. In case there is a cooking gas leakage from a gas cylinder that may lead to an inferno, the officer advises one not to panic but instead use a proper and careful way of switching it off. We recommend that you can use a fire blanket. At home you can soak blanket in water or you can use sand. If we, we also recommend you have a fire extinguisher at your home so that in case of this happens you can use a CO2 fire extinguisher, you can use a, a dry powder fire extinguisher or a fire blanket. That's it, that's it, that's it. And while many will opt to pour water on rising fire to put it out, experts say this is not advisable, especially for huge fire outbreaks. But while this remains a crucial sector in preventing and managing disasters, stakeholders are lamenting of myriad of challenges facing the industry, which has only about 1,200 registered firefighters so far across the country. We are inadequate firefighters. I can say that uh, we are working on around 22% in terms of the workforce. In terms of equipment, we are still low. We are working uh, on around 30%. In terms of uh, infrastructure, uh, I appreciate that uh, more fire station has uh, have been built in county governments. They are to this end calling on relevant stakeholders to come on board and help improve service provision in the sector. This, according to the officers, will also aid in reduction of fire outbreak cases, especially in schools. We want to train students about this uh, the safe way of uh, evacuation and how to fight a fire when it starts. So we also encourage the schools to have fire clubs. If we train more firefighters and uh, if counties could buy in our ideas as Chief Fire Officers Association to get on board adequate firefighters in the different counties, then that could 
help us serve the citizenry better. Nixon Kisaka, K24 TV.